I'm here today with Jonathan from Fairfield County Hydroponics. Jonathan's gonna help me build a grow wall, something that could save your family thousands of dollars over its lifespan. So let's get into that. Jonathan for years has been saving his family a ton of money growing plants in water. Jonathan, what are you here today to help us set up? A uh, hybridized deep water culture nutrient film technique system. It yeah. sounds super technical. <laughs> it sounds like rocket science. But really, we got very simple uh, materials here. Jonathan, how much money in materials for this system? So for this whole rig, lighting and all, it cost about $500 in awesome. this material. How much, every month, how much food are we gonna be able to grow in this system? You're gonna be able to pump out at least 34 heads of greens, lettuce, spinach. Do the math, guys. Thing. Every day, my family can harvest fresh greens for a fraction of the cost. Family of six, from now till the time they're all grown up and out of the house, this thing will literally save us thousands of dollars. So we got a lot of work to do. We're gonna get started on this grow wall and we'll show you as we go along here what we're doing. Let's get to work, John. Okay. Alrighty, so the tools that we'll need for this job are a drill or two, screw bits, a two inch hole saw. Now we're also gonna need levels. Okay, so I'll hold the pipe. Make sure everything's straight. And lastly, we will need a chop saw for cutting all of our PVC. All right, so here for our reservoir, we've got a 55 gallon drum, my favorite. For our rails, we have some schedule 40 PVC pipe four inches in diam diameter that I've already pre-drilled, along with all of the fittings we need to convert it down into one inch PVC. Three quarter inch inner diameter vinyl tubing with brackets for our lighting, some LED panels, our pump. So as far as spacing goes, you want to give yourself enough room for your plants to grow, uh, specifically up to the tallest thing you may grow. So I'm okay. going to space this out for, say, if you want to throw basil in there. Got it. Um, and that's typically like a foot and a half to two feet. Okay. Um, and then that also allows me to get the lighting in such a way that it will hit both uh, rows. Um, awesome. All right, so here we've just got a standard Schedule 40 PVC pipe. It's four inches in diameter. So I spaced these guys at four inches apart. Uh, that gives most plants enough room to grow. And here I just drilled them out with a hole saw. Cool. Yep. So a hole saw, what size hole saw? These are two inch. Two inch hole saw. We are using two inch net pots. All right. So for gluing any kind of PVC uh, for projects and whatnot, I like to use this Rain or Shine medium blue PVC cement. Uh, it's very thick uh, and it just really grabs onto everything and it's awesome. It dries pretty fast. So the purpose of these pieces are to convert the four inch into this case, one and a half inch um, for drainage. So I'm just gonna glue these guys together and stick it onto this pipe. baby was fascinated. <laughs> the baby was. Yeah, he's like totally checking out what we're doing here. So. All right, so I glued that up for you guys for demonstration purposes. Uh, as you can see here on this rail, I've already done it on both ends, and you're going to have to do it for both ends on every pipe that you're going to add to your own wall system. Our first pipe is up. Uh, we're going to duplicate this process with our next pipe. We're going to just go and put the next one up. Oh, that's the back. Okay, this is a great tip. 
think about, okay, the holes are on the top of the pipe, which means all your writing, you're gonna wanna be on the one back side. Flip it around here. When we hang this pipe, it's a nice, clean front. There's no writing. You know, you want it to look beautiful because what's gonna happen is people are gonna come over to your house and they're gonna be like, oh, that's so cool. And you can help, you know, grow the homesteading, homesteady lifestyle if it looks good. If it looks like a crazy person built it, then people are gonna be like, that person is crazy. Let's not go back to their house for dinner. I don't know what they're feeding us. I'm a little taller. Not too short. And I got more weight. <laughs> And besides, I should do some work on a video, right? This is my YouTube channel. I should, I should at least pretend I know what I'm doing with the drill. Alright. Beauty. We're getting there. We got our pipes hung. What's the next stage? Alright, so the next stage of this project is going to be taking our barrel putting it into position and plumbing these two pipes together. All right, where do we need it? We're gonna put it right here so Josh can tell us a little bit about it. Good work, team. All right, so here is a 55 gallon food grade barrel. So you want it food grade because you wanna make sure that nothing is leaching into your nutrient solution. Uh, this guy just ran $35 at the store. Thanks for drop this one. So now I'm cutting out that longer piece that connects the pipes together. Here I'm just cutting a couple of two inch segments for connecting all of my one inch PVC elbows together. So John cut those small parts which are gonna go into the, uh, the couplings and then into the ends here. Then we cut that 19 inch part right there to connect the dots between these two pipes. We ready to start gluing? We're ready to Let's start do gluing. It. This side's all set, now it's time to go down to vinyl side? Yep. All right, so. let's go. So, to feed water into the top pipe, instead of using a hard line, I am using a vinyl tube. Now with a vinyl tube, what you want to use is some sort of fitting uh, to smush the tube onto either the PVC or the pump itself. Uh, we'll leave a link below to this uh, kind of hard to find part. <laughs> Now this pump is just a pump that you can get at the pet store, nothing fancy. It's built for aquariums, 300 gallons per hour, uh, which is plenty to move water through these pipes. Before I stick this guy onto the pump, I've got a little radiator clamp here just to make sure that it stays in place. Flat out screwdriver, and just gonna tighten this guy. So now that I've got this guy attached to the pump, I'm just gonna drop the pump here into the reservoir. A thing with vinyl tube is sometimes it is a little hard to work with, like it's literally stiff. Um, so if you get a hold of a cup or, or a pot or something filled with hot or boiling water and just leave it in for five minutes, it'll actually soften up and mush around your parts and fit snugly. We're bypassing the hot water bath. We're going to go straight <laughs> for the torch. That's how we do things around here. Oh. Go. That's great. <laughs> That's how we do things around here. Torch. Gets the job done.
Okay. Yeah. Our brackets are up. Time for LED lights. Tell yep. us about these lights here. So these are just LED light panels from Amazon. Uh, they're like $30 a piece. Uh, I've been using these things for years. They're awesome uh, and they're very easy to set up. $30 a piece? Yep. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> this light cost me like $200. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use those from now on. Specifically for LED grow lights, you want a full spectrum LED panel. Pretty straightforward. There's a bunch of LEDs on it. Uh, and then there's like these little tabs on the back that you hook wires into. Party lights. Now, if that light color, that, that's a bright light, maybe you're like, oh man, I don't want that bright light in my eyes. Jonathan just told me, you're running overnight. So that light is gonna be on, you go to bed, boom, on go your lights. All right, so here is the outlet for the system. Uh, it's entirely gravity powered. Water just overflows here due to water being pumped in up here, and it just goes back into the reservoir. So the final piece of this build are net pots. This is what's holding your plants in place. Before we drilled two inch holes into our PVC rails, just plopping them in and out. Hey kids. I got a job for you. That's a great idea. <laughs> Just start popping it in. Let your sisters do a few rounds. Because we have a small child in the house, and that's something to consider if you have small children or even visiting children, a baby could fall in that and drown. So we're gonna put the lid back on and I'm just gonna carve a little C cut for those pipes to come into. And, uh, and then when we have to work on this thing, we just take the lid off and slide it out. That'll work great. It'll keep my one year old from falling in. I'm sure I'm gonna find a dozen Legos floating in it every time we go to clean this thing. We're gonna enjoy the sound of trickling water throughout the day. Peaceful. That's it. I know it looks like a lot, it looks a little intimidating. Rewatch this video a couple times. We'll have links below for all the stuff that you need. These instructions were not super specific because you might have a bigger wall or more levels, but Jonathan, this is awesome. Thanks, man. So that's it, guys. It took us about half a day to put this system together. $500 in materials, and you could be growing farm fresh produce year round. It's a system that can easily be converted to aquaponics. It's a great way to feed your family. If you're interested in building this system, we have a version of this video that's about 40 minutes long, much more in depth, in detail. It's in the Pioneer Library. When you become a Pioneer, you get access to our members only library. It has tons of bonus content, instructional videos, courses like this one, how to build a grow wall. And it's just five bucks a month. It helps us to produce the show. I have a special for you guys for being super supportive fans of Homesteady. I'm gonna give you the first month for free. You can try out the Pioneer program. Just click on this link and you'll get the first month for free. You can cancel right after that if you don't like it.